So suppose I want, I don't have a calculator and I don't want to use a normal curve table. Um, we can also use this, this applet here. Um, suppose I'm looking for the probability of getting a z-score that's less than 1.13. Let's see, I don't know if that's writing for me here. Just a minute. Yeah, 1.13, and then I'll write down the rest of them too. Um, suppose I want to find the probability of getting a z-score that's greater than 1.13. And suppose I'm looking for a z-score, let's see, somehow there, I keep missing this. Probability of getting a z-score between negative 1.13 and positive 1.13. So I can use this David Lane normal curve applet, and because I'm on the standard normal curve, I'm gonna leave the mean of zero mean of zero, standard deviation of one. And for the first one, let's see. For this first one, I'm gonna have a uh, mean of zero, z-score of less than 1.13. So I'm gonna go below, let's see, I gotta go back to get a mouse here. Below, and I'm gonna put in the 1.13. Calculate it and notice that's that that black area and there's the probability. I would recommend that you make a quick sketch of that area and then if you want you can even mark in you can even mark in that 1.13 is the number we're looking for for that cutoff. Okay so that's less than you can notice the less than means shaded to the left. Now for the next one, I want to do shaded to the right. So I'm going to go above 1.13. And notice that shades it to the right. And it's greater than, so it's above. And that's the 1.13. Um, now suppose I want to go between one, negative 1.13 and positive 1.13. So then on the applet, I'm going to do between and I'm gonna make it negative 1.13 and positive 1.13. And it shades in between those two numbers. And that's the answer. Okay, almost 75%. So I hope that helps you use this applet instead of using a graphing calculator or instead of using a normal curve table.